Hallo, my dears. My name is Joanna and I welcome you to the Johanna Draconis, the Deconstruction of CPDC podcast. In this episode, we will talk about injustice and dealing with the emotions, which we talked about last week. Not just with the sadness and the anger and everything in between, but also a bit with the cause. Dealing with the emotions is crucial in removing it from your system or at least lessen the symptoms. So, let us get right into it. When I first did this, I didn't think it would really be helpful, but knowing how things worked, I thought it would be at least somewhat helpful. More like a stepping stone than a solution. I was wrong, it was extremely helpful. As much as I knew of the power of speaking things out loud and how important it is to give something a voice, I did not expect it to be that effective. And it is, once again, rather simple. We talked about it before. Our emotional and vocal sections are strongly connected. That should come to no surprise, as I think most of us had the situation where our voice was unplanned affected by emotions. Where we just wanted to say something, but our emotions maybe made it impossible or we didn't sound like we intended to sound. Similar, we can hear the emotion in other people's voices, which sometimes lends some credibility or takes away from it. For this, we will first talk about how we address it, and then a few phrases and examples. So, how do we address it? Well, there are a few different categories of people we address. First, the causes. The people who cause the injustice, usually I refer to them as the tormentors. The second category are the bystanders, who could have done something but didn't. Third, the ones that afterwards prove unhelpful, by making the road to recovery harder and furthering the injustice. For example, doctors who don't take your suffering seriously, or people who help the tormentor and harm you. The fourth category is people who mean well, but their behavior or words are rather unhelpful. The first two I put in the how could you section, and other two in the how dare you or how can you section. And then the final section and category is you, the I am sick and tired or I am done with one. Once again, it is important that you say it out loud. I warn you ahead that despite maybe starting relatively quiet, It can easily happen to you that you get really into it and get rather loud, especially if you are angry about those points. You also might cry a lot. Either way, that is the point of this exercise. Letting those emotions out because they are like weights winding you down and eating you up inside. They shouldn't be bottled up like this. So find a place and space where you can be maybe a bit louder and or cry. Also, I recommend doing it in a time window where you can be yourself and don't have to put the mask on. Now let us go to the phrases. For them, it is important that you imagine the person in front of you. You might hesitate saying it to that person, as saying it usually would draw severe consequences. That is why you usually bottle it all up inside and slowly poison yourself. We need to get it out. And the good news, we don't need that other person actually to achieve it. Like I said before, you don't need other people to cure yourself. As them doing something specific. I am all for getting help and support. You will, most likely, never get the apology, answer or the like you deserve. So, as I said, find yourself a place where you can... Do this and visualize the person you want to say it in front of you. Then use for the first section the sentences, how could you? For example, how could you do this to me? How could you abandon me like this? How could you justify this behavior? How could you still claim you are doing the right thing? And so on and so forth. Start. You will most likely be surprised how easy you come up with more once you started. The same with the second section. 
how dare you or how can you. Some examples are again, how dare you say it wasn't wrong what happened. How can you act like everything is normal? How can you still look into the mirror? Play around, see what you respond to. It is relatively easy once you let your emotions loose. Now to the final section. I am sick and tired or I am done with. For example, I am sick and tired of having to bite my tongue around everyone and not speak freely. I am sick and tired of being sick. I am done with having to fight for my basic rights. There's a lot we can say around normal people. They usually can't deal with it. So this is a really great way to say those things nonetheless. It is important to just get them out of your system so you can feel and finally move on. I don't know if you play these sort of games where you have to follow a NPC sneakily and he isn't allowed to detect you. And every now and then he turns around to check what is going on behind his back. Well, I just realized during my walk with the dog that I am that NPC doing our walks. You see, my dog is free running, and while I have a leash on me, as he's very reliable and trained well, but with age he picked up some bad habits he isn't supposed to do. Not really bad, but still some things he shouldn't do. Like eating all the grass. But sadly he figured out that if he walks behind me, I can see it if he is sneaky and silent about it. There are the times I wish I had a Labrador. They usually don't figure this kind of stuff out. So now every now and then I turn around to shoe my dog like that NPC. But at least he is getting better. And that is one of the signs for it. And regarding cells in games? Unless I am forced to it, I usually go to by the method no one can notice if no one is left to notice. I just suck at stealth. That was it for today's episode. I hope you found it helpful. I might pick up the exercises again now and then to show the usage properly. Especially if people feel like they need more explanations. As I did cut it all rather short. But that was it for now. If you have any questions or feedback and the like, please let me know at contactme at johannatakonis.com. More information and transcript you can find as usually under johannatakonis.com slash podcast and links are in the description. I hope to see you next time. Watch yourselves and have a wonderful time.